doing a dolly update kind of thing. Um, if you guys know, I got the 18 inch My Life boy doll recently. Um, I haven't done a whole lot to him because, like, he's... I don't know. Those dolls aren't something you customize. Um, well, you can customize them. That's not really what I meant. But I didn't really have to do a whole lot to him to get him where I wanted. Um, the main thing now, I am looking for clothes and that's basically just going to be an Etsy thing because when it comes to buying things online, like you can see Alec right behind me, I have still yet to get stuff for him and when it comes to buying stuff online, I just, I suck at it. I'm really bad at trying to get things online. One, because I just don't like ordering online, it's a hassle. And I have the times, like, there's times where you buy something thinking it's, like, you have an expectation for what it looks like. And in reality, it's like, no, that's not really what I thought I was ordering. I've had a few, you can tell I've had a few of those moments. But yes, I just kind of wanted to update you completely on him, because I did mention him a little bit in my vlog. And, um... Like, stuff about rings, and then I got him glasses, and I made him a necklace to make him look more like me. And, eh, I'll stand him to make things easier. That's another thing, um, I don't know if it's because of his body type, because he's all plastic, and from what other people tell me, the girls are all, or the girls are, are, are plastic up here in plush down at the bottom so I don't know I don't know because when he sits his legs are sprawled out like this and it, it's kind of annoying but me being picky um I made him this necklace like you can see it's a little more decorated you could say it's a little more fancy of a cross necklace um Actually, I'll get up and show you a few of my okay. necklaces. The reason I just got up to get jewelry is because I really wanted to give you guys a sense of what my style, -wise, style was, jewelry-wise. This is pretty much my fa fancy cross necklace. Um, if I'm going to like dinner with family or something and I want to look a little bit nicer, um, this is the necklace I will go to. It's got pretty much crosses up here and then a chain. It looks really nice whenever I'm wearing... And then I'll keep this one on. So this one hangs lower than this necklace. So it looks it looks pretty nice because I have the smaller necklaces with the bigger one. But um yeah, those are the main these are the main two necklaces I wear a majority of the time. Before my aunt got me this necklace, I was wearing this one. Um, a really cheap necklace I got. Can't really remember, I think it was like Walmart or something. Or it could have been Rue 21. Um, I don't know. You can see it's tarnished. It's 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 pretty old. It's like five or six years old. Um, but it just had like the uh, king's crown on there, or the just has a crown on there, and it's a cross. Um, after I had actually lost that necklace, so I was wearing angel wings that I got somewhere. I can't remember where. Um, so I wore those for a while, and then of course my aunt got me this necklace. So I stopped pretty much wearing everything. Um, and then this is really old. Um, got these at Rue 21. It's just a rosary. Or it's made to look like a rosary, it's not like a real rosary. But Anyway, it's kind of a sense of my style. So um, I just took the cross off of one of my bracelets. Um, that I don't wear anymore and used it for his necklace because it actually would be something I wear um, if it was something that looked more like I wouldn't want something that was like the Methodist cross where it has like the little red thing because that's not really something I would wear um, not that there's anything wrong with that cross it's just it's it literally is like I don't gravitate towards something like that um, but one of the first things I made him were these rings. <laughs> They're supposed to be like mine. Um, and I had some problems with them because they weren't exactly turning out 
the way I wanted. So I first made them out of paper and then I came up with the idea to cut up tea light handle bases because they're based in, in a metal base. So I just took the trim, the rim around the tea light and then um, just cut it to size and glued it on his hand. Um, and I just used E6000 because when it dries it turns into a rubbery type of glue. So if I decide I don't want the rings on him anymore I can easily just pop them off and just rub the glue off because it's just a rubber so it's not like it's permanently on him I guess in a sense um, and then the last thing is I got these glasses for him they came with another pair I got these at Walmart please don't fall and, and he's falling stop I got these at Walmart um, they're not like the hugest, bestest quality ever in life, but I mean, I mean the biggest thing that irritates me with these is that the the lenses aren't exactly clear. I mean they're pretty foggy for glasses, and I've cleaned them, so the plastic's just like that. But I mean it, you you barely notice it when when he's wearing them, so they're perfectly fine to me. And then. That's pretty much it. I haven't really gotten much more. Um, I did got, get him some shoes there, right up there. You can tell how prepared I am for this video. Like, not at all. They fit okay. They fit fine. Um, they were, it, they seemed slightly big on him for some reason. Um, but I think that was just the way they were on him. Or they, that's just the way they fit, I'm assuming. But the biggest problem was he... Like, it was impossible for me to make him stand with these shoes. Um, the shoes that he came with are um, more of a sturdy rubber, where these are very squishy and very, like, like you can see, I mean, they come, like, they're really curved and warped. And that's just kind of the way they came out of the thing. So, I mean, if I want to take pictures of him in red shoes, I will just put the red shoes on but for now I'm just gonna keep him in these black shoes and then the next thing I just wanted him to have like toys and stuff to play with so I was racking my brain as to what I could give him that would be considered toys um actually here because I just forgot the these are the um headphones I painted for him this was the pink one um, $3 at Walmart. I just put a piece of clay on top of the side right here. So that way, um, it covered the, the butterfly because there was a butterfly molded onto the headphone. And just painted this, the earmuffs, um, black. And there you go. And I did splatter a little bit of black on it. Um, can't really see too well. There's that, and then I, I like it when he's, when they're sitting on just his shoulders. And this is going to be a really rambly video, um, and I'm sorry. If you guys don't like videos like this, it's just, I like talking about this kind of stuff, so that's why I make these type of videos. Um, I did the same, I did the same thing with Alex, um, like shortly after I unboxed him and opened him, I did an update on the different things I've made him and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I was trying to figure out what toys I could give him that would... And I'm just dropping all sorts of things today that I could give him. So, the first thing I picked was like these, these Imaginex characters. Um, if you guys don't remember, I... I think I did an opening of these last year. I can't. I can't remember how long ago, but it was at least. It was like. It might have actually been a year ago, um, close to this time. I can't remember, but like I got a whole bunch of these. Like I mean, there's these ones, and then I have. Like, and this isn't all of them either. These are just the few that I decided that, like, he would play with. Um, but these Imaginex characters are really perfect for his size, for the 18-inch um, doll size. Um, because, I mean, they don't make 
obviously they don't make dolls that are really perfect for this size or toys that are necessarily perfect for this size but I mean and that's a bad one to choose from because he's pretty much really really bulky so I mean he looks like a standard action figure for a normal person um they look slightly too big but I mean it's better than anything else I could find so I got that um so the Imagine X figures work really well and I want to try and get him some Batman figures too and these are my turtle figures again I did an opening of these um roughly a year ago and again they're the Imagine X size so they fit perfectly with his size um these are I did not do an opening on these but these are the um Lego figures for um Ninja Turtles and Mega Bloks figures for Ninja Turtles and they're slightly a little small but I mean it just looks like one of these figures to us one of the Imagine X figures to us almost so there's those and then I was like well I want him to have Monster High so I had this Twyla doll like this Twyla figure this is the Mega Bloks version of the Monster High doll things um, you can find them all over the stores and stuff. I'm really angry I never got the Venus one since Venus is one of my favorite characters. It was just by the time I got around to being able to get it, like, they're like, oh, season one's over, here's season two. And I'm like, no, but I needed Venus. But, yeah. Um, and here's what he looks like with... The, so, again, it's slightly st too small of a scale, but, I mean, it still works really, really nicely. Um... And I liked it so much that I got the Cleo from Season 2 because I can't remember what was in Season 1 anymore other than Venus because there wasn't a whole lot of characters in Season 1 that I wanted. So, there's the Cleo and she works nice. And then, like, I was digging through my toy box um, in my closet and I had a bunch of these little Zelfs. So, that, and we were out today. We were out and about um, cause I'm about to show you something I got for him. Um, and they are coming out with a new thing called Trolls. Um, I think it's based off of a movie, I can't remember. But they had some of these really cute, um, z like, um, they're similar to Zelfs. They have a very similar look to Zelfs, but they're more, like, troll. Like, if you guys remember Trolls from a couple years, like, ten years ago, um, it was like, Trolls with a Z. Um, they have, like, gems in their belly buttons. They look like a cross between Zelfs and those trolls. Um, they're very cartoony looking. I think they're really cute. And they were really, like, small. Roughly the size of this Imagine X figure. And I thought, oh, I used to love trolls. Like, my aunt and my mom got me, like, those trolls when I was very... When I was little, I just used to be really into them, so I had all of them. I had every single old Trolls, and then just between moving so much, I pretty much have lost them all now. Which is a little disappointing, but, I mean, it's the way things happen. So yeah, I thought it was really cool that I found these elves, because I had ordered them online because I thought about doing customs out of them, and then I was just, it just never really happened. Yeah, that's it for toys, and then I just have this little tin right here that's a Batman box. I'm just using that for a toy box. Um, but I got this for him today. Um, it is the uh, the new My Life As Doll chair thingy. Um, it was ten dollars at Walmart. It was pretty cheap, um, which is nice. And I don't know how to undo it. So I was going to okay. see it folds up perfectly flat so if you need to store it somewhere you can um, it's really soft really nice and the cool thing is it's all Vericode on and so you can see so if you spill something on it or something happens to it you can wash it I just don't recommend you put it in the dryer because I don't know what this fabric will do in the dryer um, so I just recommend air drying it. That and it doesn't have washing instructions, which I found really weird. Here's a tag, actually. 
Luna. Thank you, Alex. Um, tape ties, plastic. They're not part of the toy. Keep it. Yeah, there's like no no washing instructions. Here's the tag, by the way. And oops, but they have these in like three different colors: white, purple. And this blue color, which I thought was going to be a little too blue for him. So I was, like, kind of afraid that it was going to look very somewhat girly. But it actually doesn't look that bad. It actually looks pretty, pretty nice with him. Um, that's my only other thing with these dolls. Um, he doesn't sit straight up. It's kind of annoying, but I mean, it's just the way it's going to be and he can't sit right because I'm I'm holding this but the other thing I'm really happy about this is Alex can sit in it <laughs> um, I'm happy that I can finally get like do something else with Alex other than him just sitting around um, because I haven't been able to do anything else with him because I can't really craft anything else and I was trying to make him a bed and it doesn't really didn't really work out because I wasn't happy with it um, but here he is, he sits perfectly fine, and he actually is, um, slightly, very, very slightly shorter than, um, Henry, so, um, anything I buy for Henry is pretty much gonna work out, furniture-wise, it's pretty much gonna work out for Alex, which I like, cause it's, it's like doing double duty, really, um, cause I found a kitchen that I really liked, um, the R Generation, kitchen at Target. I found that and I mean yes it's expensive but like I had planned on getting him a bunch of baking items because if you guys don't know this about me I'm a, I used to be a cake decorator I went to school for it and everything. Um, so yeah I saw that and I like I really liked it because that's it's, it's pretty much everything I was looking for in a kitchen and I just really like the idea of being able to have a kitchen I don't know why. I, it's not like I, I definitely need a kitchen. I, I think, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Um, and then uh, I was hoping to at least see the bed today, which I didn't. I did get to see the, uh, the My Life bed, by the way. I did get to see their table, but it was the old version of, of, the, of the desk. And, um, which is fine, I think. I think it was the old version. I don't know, it might have been the new version. They're pretty much the same thing, just different colors. Um, but it was it looked pretty nice. I liked it, and it was only twenty five dollars. Uh, kind of lacking on the on the doll getting right now, um, just because like I, I really am trying not to buy a whole lot for Henry first because Alex has been sitting around and stuff that I've made him for a while without wigs or eyes or without a wig and eyes. Um, so I want to try and get stuff for him first before I uh, go crazy and get stuff for Alex. And then, like, there's a bunch of Monster High dolls out. Um, so much, so much going on in the dolly world right now. For me, anyways. My, we were at Target and we saw, like, different things, like, the different Ever High stuff. And then there, there was a few other things that my mom found that she wanted. She's like, there's so many dolly things I want. And I'm like, uh... You have no clue what my list looks like. <laughs> uh, like, let's see, Miraculous Ladybug. I found those dolls today. There's four different dolls. There's them in their normal everyday look, and then there's um, Ladybug and um, Cat Noir. Uh, so I want to get those dolls. Um, I want to get the Powerpuff Girl dolls, um, the ones with real hair, just for nostalgia's sake. If you guys want. To me to do a review on those. I can. Um, I'm a 90s baby, so I really grew up watching Powerpuff Girls and any of the other Cartoon Network stuff. Um, so there's that. Um, there's some of the troll stuff I want to get. Um, pretty much all of the new Monster High stuff. There's three new Ever High dolls that, um, they're signature dolls that I need to get. And then on top of all of that, there's all the stuff I want to get for him and him. So I'm having to prioritize a few things. So um, things may get a little crazy. 
Um, there might not be as many doll reviews just because I'm getting different things at different times. Sorry for this rambly update and I will see you guys later.